In order for records to exist, somebody has to record things. There are individual records and there are absolute records. Yeah. Okay, we've got you. The absolute records are a team effort. Going further than anybody else requires a lot of support. So this is the bike that you rode the 1982 it's the frame, yes. Mersey Roads, and, and yes. you won that okay, on that occasion. But that obviously frame. it had different wheels and didn't have a saddlebag on it. Uh, <laughs> this year I promised you that we will finish the 24 we will use up the whole 24 hours. That'll be right. Uh, I've done maybe up to 10. You've done maybe up to 10. Uh, whereas George... Uh, this will be my 45th Mersey. 45th Mersey? Uh, and how about in general, how many? Well, animals? I think I've got 24, I've got 59. That's including one straight out. Oh, yeah. Out, <laughs> so this, this will, will be the 60th. Well, I, if they count a straight out 24, but I've got time for it. I don't see why I can include it. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10. Get nervous, Go! Is this your first time trial? It or? is, yeah. Ever? Uh, well, I did a, a team one, but it, wasn't, it was just a 25 mile one. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So it's the first long time trial. First long time trial. Five, four, three, two, one, go! 24 hour time trials have been going on since the 1880s. In recent years, adventure racing has developed. Unsupported, followed on the internet. Riders are tracked by a combination of cell phones and GPS, and people watch them at home. Ian Toe was such a rider. See, I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with this, this, this adventure racing type stuff. I mean, it's a, it's a field that I've never really examined. I mean, is it, is it, a, is it a big sort of activity? Is it? It's huge. I yeah. think every Roads uh, Ultra Race has uh, oversubscribed, yep. uh, sold out uh, this year, and uh, there are so many, I've, I've lost count of how many there are. Yeah, yeah. Why, do, why do you think it's grown suddenly then? I mean, I, I'm, I haven't, maybe, maybe, maybe I've not been aware and it's been growing for a long time, but... Um, probably because of its simplicity. It's rigid and doesn't you get on the bike and you ride. Yeah. It's a way to really find a place where, I guess, time stops and you're just living in the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, all you're so, doing is so, so why have you come to the 24? <laughs> um, I was persuaded to by the chairman of my club. Oh, yeah. Because I've, I've got pretty good form. And we've been waiting for the wind for the jog, but uh, it just hasn't appeared. Yeah. You know, there's been no storms whatsoever since uh, probably April. Um, so rather than do nothing, sit in my hands, the wind's not going to come for some time. Yeah. Um, come and do this for the experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah meet new people by like yourself, you know. Um. Five, four, three, two, Thank you. one, go, 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 one. It's always very difficult to know what's going on at the 24-hour TT. There are usually riders like Graham Kemp who've done well at other distances and it's their first time over the day event. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Crystal Spearman was the first lady last year. Would she be this year? Michael Baldwith had won several times and been fastest on this course. I have seen you do a 24 since that one in Sussex, really. Have you uh, done something? No, I did this one in 2013. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's 2011, that one, it? Uh, yeah. How does it feel? Uh, tiring. Tiring. <laughs> are we nearly there yet? <laughs> you are finished. You are done. You. Time by its very nature, is always moving on. So do you think there's any chance of your tandem record going today? 
in theory it ought to go by about 20 miles yeah whether it will or not it's a different matter it depends whether they used to riding together on the tandem and whether they can stand the pain for long enough yeah 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 which is, which is the thing isn't it yes and the course is now much easier than it was when we did it so, it's so 28 years ago we did that 28 so you'd yes. be you'd be not so young then really would you i was a young man then i was only 52 52 <laughs> Wow, <laughs> wow. And Pete was just a student and he's now a consultant surgeon. Yeah? He's, he's into triathlons now though. Uh-huh. Good. Well, we'll see what happens. Hmm. The tandem record was the one that most people expected to see broken on the day. Andy Jackson was the men's winner in 2018. Could he challenge the overall record? Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, Andy!